the first thing you need for a pivot table is some data to go into it. For example, here's the worksheet that consists of total marks scored by Alicia and Mary. Then select the data that will be going into your pivot table from cells A1 to D37. On the Excel 2007 ribbon, click the Insert tab. In that, move your pointer to Table Groups and click on Pivot Table. The Create Pivot Tables dialog box appears. In the dialog box, the address of the selected range will be displayed in the Table Range text box. Select the New Worksheet radio button as the place where the pivot table will be placed. Click OK. When you click OK, Excel 2007 presents you with a rather complex layout. The area on the right side of your worksheet is like this. This is the pivot table field list. It has tick boxes for month, subject, student and score. So tick all four boxes in the field list. Excel will create a basic pivot table for you. But we're going to put our four fields into the four areas below. Here's the four areas we can drag to. For the Report filter, drag and drop the student. For the Column labels, drag and drop the subject. For the Row labels, we'll just have to add the month. The Values will be the average scores. The pivot table on your spreadsheet will be looking like this. If you want only the progress of Alicia, in your worksheet, click on Students drop-down and select Alicia. Doing that displays only the progress of Alicia.